So you know how there's uh, lightning and then it comes, you know, the thunder comes later? Well, uh, we just found that the plasma cutter was the lightning and this is the thunder. <laughs> children, we're just children, that's all we are. Children playing with grown-ups toys, but I wouldn't change anything. Adventures with Denim Dave. Today we've got a 2019 Southland dump trailer on the shop floor, and unfortunately I did some serious damage to it this summer by, well, you know how it goes. I am very difficult on my equipment, so we got to replace this cross member and the tarp kit on the top of the dump trailer, do a tongue jack replacement, and some other maintenance stuff. So enjoy as we tackle this project and hopefully make something better out of it. this stinking plasma cutter got run over by a truck and so the trigger is just a tiny little yellow button which doesn't work well with gloves and for anyone who wears gloves comes a real challenge we're running the uh, bandsaw over here in the corner cutting the piece of tube steel down for this I guess coil on the on the tarp kit looks like Hudson's just got that pulled off so uh this is the piece we're going to keep. We're going to weld the, the rest of the tube seal onto that to go across the bed. Oh my word. That is very bent. <laughs> so it's a good thing we're doing this. Um, we're going to have to do a little bit of work to get this to work again. But uh, the bearing's still okay and the other bearing should work as well. So I think the only part we're going to have to replace is the tube itself. And uh, I don't know if I'm going to go with something a little beefier uh, so that we can back into it again and make it impossible to fix, or if we should do something lighter gauge and be able to hand straighten it, I don't know. But good stuff is we're getting some progress made on that front. So in order to get this jack out, what we're gonna need to do is cut the rim weld right here around. And underneath here, there's one right at the bottom of that tube. <laughs> step get materials which one of the guys is doing he's running to Coeur d'Alene steel or I mean CDA steel and Titan truck to get a couple components for what we need We're looking for that jack for the tongue of the trailer and some dimensional steel for the front edge of the this front lip of the trailer here but uh, while he's gone what we're doing is working on some wiring and cleaning up the battery box got Owen cleaning it out we're relocating the battery in here um, looking to fit the battery in a little bit different configuration so that we can store chains and tools and stuff in a dry compartment. What are you doing up here? Cleaning. Cleaning? Just cleaning up your mess. Same thing I'm always doing in the shop. It's just not even fair. Look at this. You're making more of a mess. Oh, you turd. <laughs> I wish I could fit on a shelf like that. I wish I could reach the top shelf. <laughs> you don't need to. You can just stand and do all this. Oh my. Getting somewhere.
is a beautiful thing. A functional working jack. We're not accustomed to that around these parts. Guys, it works. Yo, would you throw me a water? I'm just gonna enjoy this. You suck. I know. It's like not even fair, man. Suck down tons of water while you drink nothing. Oh, good throw. I think I'll enjoy some too. push in the metal for this gap back here but we're doing it in a gymnasium style That's right. acrobatics out in too what gotta get a workout in too Ladies and gentlemen, that is a wrap on today's project. We are really close. All we've got to do is put some paint on the spots where we welded. This tarp kit, it's all buttoned up. Looks really nice. That front end is nice and square. Man, that really turned out. We've got our jack here. Let's see what we want jack things do. The box is reorganized. No matter if it's in there. Ample space for other things. Take those tools. So that was a win on today's work. With that, we'll catch you next time.